And our guest this week is Ryan Martin from Louis Dreyfus Company. We talked about these markets, but also, uh, Ryan, you're a meteorologist. And so uh, talk about, uh, you know, everybody's anticipating. It seems like that is probably the second uh, uh, highest uh, topic is when is all this planning going to take place? We know in the southeast it's been well underway for a while, but uh, you know we want good moisture, but we also want to be able to put this these spring crops in pretty smooth. Well, and, and really here you've got to divide this weather story out geographically and regionally. So let's start close to home here. Yeah, we just got done with a week here that has been. <laughs> Uh, you know what, the phrase that was uh, talked to me about uh, all week long was, are you flipping kidding me? And, you know, substitute whatever word you want to put in there. But the idea was cold and snow. Mother Nature did not want to give it up this week. Now here, we're going to bounce pretty quick. I think next week we're going to be looking at very warm temperatures here overall. And going forward, we're probably going to be coming out okay. Slow probably to start here on planting, but I think we ramp these numbers up pretty quickly as the USDA report comes out on Monday for the crop progress and subsequent Mondays. Go north into the Northern Plains. Yes, they had cold last week and honestly the week prior, but they're dry. North Dakota has not had meaningful precipitation over one inch in a very long time, pushing three months now. So North Dakota, South Dakota, Northern Minnesota, I think once those soil temperatures get to where they need to be, they're gonna accelerate quickly. We could see the fastest progress up there. Those guys have big equipment and no moisture concerns. Now let's go to the Corn Belt, and I'm going to just lump them all together. Iowa, Mississippi River, eastward. I think here we're looking at dryness as well. Not maybe much of a hiccup in terms of planting, but these soil temperatures have gotten some of this early crop. Remember, our initial crop progress report had Illinois 5% done the very first week we could talk about corn. With temperatures last week or this past week, 25, 26 degrees, How's that corn doing here as we wake up into next week? I think there's going to be some replant already talked about in the Corn Belt. Over the winter time, there was a lot of discussion talking about La Nina. Hasn't been much recently. Where are we at there? Well, it's fading. I mean, I think we're still seeing the, the, the long tail effect. Most in the meteor meteorological world, especially the Australian Bureau of Meteorology, have basically stamped this thing and said, done. Uh, we're going to see the long tail effect, and you're going to see this in South America. Will it do anything up here? Short of maybe a little bit of dryness developing midsummer in Texas, and then maybe a little bit of dryness out in California. I don't think La Nina is a story for anything here. What's going to be interesting is, is when are these talking head weather guys going to pivot and start saying El Nino, El Nino, El Nino? That's going to be key because I don't look for an actual phenomenon to happen this year. I think we sit neutral basically for the rest of the year and don't see any kind of tropical or, or, or Pacific waters influence on our weather. We'll see, but I think it'll be interesting to see what the next headline is going to be that dominates this market on the weather side. All right, Ryan, we appreciate the updates and hopefully we can catch up with you later on in the growing season. That sounds like a good plan to me. Ryan Martin, Louis Dreyfus Company has joined us. Stay with us. We'll have more coming up.